Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we TALKL about the top 5 best hotel in the world. The numbers prove what we already knew. Enthusiasm for travel has never been higher, as demonstrated by the nearly quarter of a million of you who filled out this year's survey. From the top large US city to the top international airline, this year's list is a testament to the staying power of perennial favorites, through thick and thin, with some newcomers to consider. 5. Shangri-La Bosphorus, Istanbul, Turkey Well situated along the European side of the Bosphorus Strait, this Turkish outpost of this Hong Kong-based luxury brand occupies a former tobacco warehouse built in the 1930s. The rooms are done up in a sumptuous palette of greys and neutrals, with a whimsical treat on your bedside table. A copy of James Hilton's 1933 novel Lost Horizon, which introduced to the world the mythical paradise that gave the chain its name. The hotel's Cantonese restaurant, Shang Palace, sets the standard for Istanbul fine dining, with chefs hand-pulling noodles tableside and preparing Peking duck that served over two elaborate courses. And at Kai, the spa, the Turkish bath experience is elevated with experiences like full-body moisturization with milk and honey. 4. The Marker Hotel, Dublin, Ireland Dublin's docklands are known as the Silicon Docks, with the European headquarters of Facebook, Google, and Airbnb all taking up residence here. The Marker Hotel, a sleek geometric building in the middle of Grand Canal Square, is the district's unofficial landmark. There's a hip vibe throughout, from the light-filled lobby to the bedrooms bursting with pops of color. The moodily lit infinity pool is the best in the city, with a eucalyptus-scented steam room. Open seasonally, the rooftop bar has killer views of the city and as far out as the Dublin Mountains. Guests have guaranteed access, and you're guaranteed to make friends with the bartenders. 3 Four Seasons Hotel Bangkok at Chow Freya River, Thailand The plans for Four Seasons return to Bangkok, a prior location closed in 2015, predate the body blow that travel took during the pandemic, but the Jean-Michel Gaffey designed reincarnation on the banks of the Chow Freya feels tailored to Bangkok residents anyway. For visitors who have already ticked off the city's sightseeing hits, it offers serious staying put appeal. A multi-tiered swimming pool with thick cushioned loungers for all-day lingering, vast suites and bedrooms with deep soaking bathtubs, and floor-to-ceiling windows that frame knockout river views. The four restaurants are set for lazy lunches, while the Bossa Nova Humming BKK Social Club is helmed by Philip Biscoff, formerly of the glitzy bar Manhattan at the Regent Singapore. The contemporary art collection has an urban edge, Towering works depicting the curves of the Chow Freya or the folds of a monk's robe hang from the lobby's marble walls, while a rotating exhibition puts the spotlight on local talent. Over the years, indie galleries and artsy boutiques have turned this corner of Bangkok into the city's de facto design district, a transformation that is complete now that the Four Seasons is back. 2. The Drake Oak Brook, Autograph Collection, Illinois, U.S. Built in 1962 as an outpost of the celebrated Drake Hotel on Chicago's Michigan Avenue, the Drake Oak Brook has always been such a trendsetter that it has attracted the likes of Frank Sinatra, Prince Charles, and Arnold Palmer deep into the Chicagoland, burbs over its six decades. There's a masculine, mid-century edge to the newly renovated guest rooms, many of which feature herringbone oak wood floors and well-stocked bar carts. The Colonial Room restaurant offers high tea in the afternoons and a menu of unmistakably retro dishes come dinnertime, from wedge salads to shrimp cocktail and you could almost imagine old Blue Eyes himself slumping into one of the fireside leather chairs at the Polo Lounge and ordering a signature Drake Manhattan. 1. Sofitel Washington DC Lafayette Square, US. It's appropriate that this DC hotel does luxury with a slightly French twist. The Sofitel overlooks Lafayette Square, which takes its name from the French hero of the American Revolution, the Marquis de Lafayette, whom you might know from a little musical called Hamilton. Today, Gallic touches include the 1920s-inspired Paris Ballroom and the Opaline Bar and Brasserie, where you can rub elbows with power lunchers as you dine on cucumber mint vichyssoise, crispy duck confit, tart flambe, and caramelized Neufchatel cheesecake. The Art Deco-tinged building dates back to 1925, and Armenian-American architect Murin Mesrobian was responsible for many of the city's grandest hotels of the day, including the Hay Adams Hotel and the Old Carlton Hotel, which is now the St. Regis. A 2014 design overhaul took inspiration from the 1960s renovations of the White House, just steps away, complete with grand columns, coffered ceilings, and brass inlay marble floors. If you enjoy this video kindly like share and subscribe to the Thanks for WACTHING